Welcome to British Royal Family Updates. When it comes to positions that allow people to come into very close contact with the late queen, it's clear that security and privacy are the number one priority. But when that trust is broken, the consequences can be serious as the creator of the late Queen Elizabeth II's bra knows all too well. In 2018, it was reported that the former monarch had fired her regular bra salesperson, June Kenton, from Rigby and Pella, leading to them being stripped of their royal ban. Royal warrants are issued to recognize individuals or companies that regularly provide goods or services to the crown. Sorry for interrupting, before we continue, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates, thank you. According to the BBC, the decision to end cooperation with the company came almost a year after the Queen published the official book about the Stormin A.D. Cup corset. June Kenton's book shows the semi-naked Queen standing in front of her gorgeous and revealing decades of secrets, including references to the filthy entrances of Buckingham Palace and its members. Royal member with whom she worked. Melondon reported that the bra's list of famous customers also includes Princess Diana, Princess Margaret and the Queen Mother. Speaking about the book, Kenton said. I'm very sad that Buckingham Palace objected to this story it's a beautiful and tender story about what happened in my life. She added. I just said I was there, not what happened. I never talked about what I was doing there with you, the Queen Mother or Princess Margaret. According to the BBC, Kenton did not send a copy to the palace before the book was published because she didn't think anything could happen. Done. By the time the book came out in 2017, Ms. Kenton had worked in the laundry industry for more than 60 years. The book says she acquired her skills as a teenager at the Burley Corsetry School in London. According to reports, Prince Harry has been living away from the royal family for nearly four years and may now be considering returning to the UK. There are rumours that King Charles wants to reconcile with his son, despite recent tensions over Harry Spare's explosive book and the Netflix documentary series about the Sussexes. The potential rift was made worse by Harry's lack of time in England when he made a surprise visit to attend the Queen's funeral and his father's coronation. But can the Duke of Sussex return to the UK and reconcile with his family? Forgiveness could become a reality as a former pal-